The thing that I love about skateboarding is that when you're doing it, everything drops away and it's just like your body and your mind and you're just focusing on that. Skateboarding to me is my work and it's most of my friends. It's kind of my day to day. I get more out of skateboarding now than I used to because there's so many more elements to it. Started skating in my early teens, that's that nearly 30 years of being in or around skateboarding, so it means everything. I started my company out of probably the same reason that many, many skateboard companies have started, just out of a love of skateboarding. I never once imagined that it would turn into kind of what it has. The reasons that I started are still true to this day, which is love for skateboarding and all the bits and pieces that go with it. Really just fell into it through skating, building our own ramps, just doing things for ourselves. Everything felt better if you did it for yourself. And it was just that sort of mentality, making some early prototypes and really people getting behind you and saying, you could do something with that. I learned to surf before I started to skate. So my influence through skating was always based on like surf style and the transition of surf to skate. Just the early era of skateboarding was what I like get the most stoked off. So I wanted to make some boards that were just the same as what they were then, just to see like how it was to ride them. It strips it back to the rawness and the simplicity of just rolling and just getting stoked off of that. So when I started skating, screen printed boards were still kind of on the scene. I think I fell in love with that kind of, that, that look. Even though I've been doing it for years now, it still kind of fascinates me that it, it ends up looking so brilliant. We are the only people that manufacture within the country, you know, laminate from raw wood right up to the finished product. We're in England, we're competing with China and South America. For us, labour is the crux of our business. To compete at the level that some of the big factories are doing now, we're almost giving the product away. Any big, big orders would just tick the factory over and not actually make any profit. It's almost not worth competing. We're looking at a smaller scale supply. Skateboarding, in any sense, isn't a gold mine. For most people, you know, whether you're in production making boards or, or printing boards or doing graphics, you know, you, there's only a certain amount of money you can charge because the market's only so big. You have to put a lot, a lot of energy in, and uh, it's not cheap and it's not quick. Um, personally, I think if something isn't cheap and isn't rushed, then it's better, and that's I'm sticking to my guns on that. When you're making your own stuff it's way more expensive than if you just got like a shipping container shipped over from China or something. Hitting those price points and the margins, it's like pretty crippling. That's where I've found that I've run into difficulty is just trying to compete with like a massive factory where I'm one guy. We're not strictly businessmen, so all our efforts have just been put into what can we do to make the board better? If it's a good product and it's made by an independent and it's competitive, you hope that people will get behind that. I kind of worry that most people just don't care. They don't consider that being independent to be a good or a bad thing. And is it? I mean, it doesn't really alter the way that you're skating in the end. But what it does do is connect you to something that's got roots. If you buy something that's independent, you generally being connected through people of like-mindedness, I, I think. It's really difficult being small and independent and trying to do things right, especially now with all this like crossover with fashion and stuff. It's like skateboarding is being appropriated everywhere and everyone's like trying to take a piece of it. So small independent companies, like you really are making a difference because these people are trying to do things the right way and they're trying to support the skate community. The other factor is that in London especially, you're kind of at the mercy of real estate. and We are in the process of getting kicked out of this place, which is a real shame. But, you know, it's not all bad. We're going to find another place and we're going to, you know, carry on as we do. It'll work out. It'll work out for sure. I'm not taking a lot of money. I'm not earning a lot of money, but I'm earning a wage. I can be creative if I want. It's endless what I can do, you know, every day. 
some people dream of that, you know, so I've got to remember that. I still haven't found a balance. I am just a workaholic through and through. It's just like there's nothing else I would rather be doing. I'm stoked to be able to say that really.